Today is day two of our Farm Worker Awareness Week series here on Wake Up Idaho. They play a crucial role in getting our food to people across the country, but their job comes with some big risks. So Boise State University conducting a new study to help address some of the issues they encounter. Brenda joins us now to tell us more about this study and how it can help our local farm workers. Yes, Maggie, so Boise State's study is primarily focusing on the risk of pesticide exposures. They're looking into how it can affect our Latinx farm workers here in Idaho so they can help and poss or create possible policies or regulations to better protect these essential workers. Tons of pounds of pesticides are applied to crops each year to help protect them so that food can make it on your table. But those working in the fields are the ones that have to experience the lasting effects of exposure. Boise State research assistant Alejandra Hernandez used to be a farm worker, and she says from her experience, many farm workers do not know what they need to protect themselves. I sometimes would ask like, you know, the people around me, like, can you allocate like the proper training that they need? So I was like, because I just got here and you know, we were just doing it <laughs> um, and they were like, you know, you just kind of you just hope for the best. Carly Highland is a postdoctoral research scholar at BSU. She is leading Boise State's new study to better examine pesticide exposure and the risk perceptions in Idaho's farm workers. Farm workers use a range of different types of pesticides that we'll be looking at. So insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides. So these are all um, synthetic chemicals that are used to decrease, you know, er, er, um, weeds or, or insects uh, from the crops that they're growing. According to BSU study, more than 80% of farm workers in the United States identify as Hispanic or Latinx. Here in Idaho, migrant and seasonal farm workers make up 38% of all agricultural workers in the state. In Idaho, the main you know, the main people that are farm workers are, lat you know, are Latinos. Highland says their previous studies have shown high levels of exposure among farm workers that can impact their health. We have seen a lot of evidence that agricultural pesticide exposure, so pesticide exposure among farm workers is associated with a range of adverse health outcomes, um, some of them being neurodevelopment, such as increased risk of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. We've seen studies showing increased risk of cancer. Highland says that previous studies also show female farm workers are more likely to develop pesticide poisoning. So this means really high levels of pesticide exposure that they get sick from, um, that females have higher rates of that than, than male farm workers. So they just are wanting to see, you know, like, are they, you know, are they experiencing, you know, like, are they experiencing more a higher rates? Um, you know, is it around the same? Aside from potential pesticide exposure, Highland says farm workers also face more issues that could have negative effects on their overall well-being. Farm workers do face a number of other, um, you know, kind of social threats to their health, including um, poor, unsafe housing conditions, uh, food insecurity, even though they're the ones that are growing the food that we all eat. Um, and other threats such as, you know, fear of discrimination or harassment at work. Hernandez says Boise State study is a start to help raise awareness of the risk farm workers face every day. It's not to criticize, you know, the farmer. We just want, like, you know, farmers to kind of, like, look at this and, you know, and say, oh, well, you know, in the study, you know, um, Certain people are saying, you know, they're not getting the right training. Highland also hopes that this study can lead to possible partnerships with state and local leaders to further bridge the disconnects. Research is incredibly important for illuminating what challenges there are, understanding what are the levels of pesticide exposure among these farm workers. But ultimately, I do think that we need policy and regulations that protect our farm workers. And at this time, Highland says that they're working on recruiting 30 male and 30 female Latinx local farm workers. The study will begin in April and into the summer. And then during the fall, Highland and her team will begin the findings. And Maggie, tomorrow, many universities are also raising awareness on their campus and the communities around them. So we're going to dive into exactly how they're doing that. This research is so important to raising awareness and really making change. So thank you, Brenda, for bringing us that story. And thank you to BSU for doing this study.